Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on ramen cocktails. Today we are going to make an apricot daiquiri. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. In either case, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing here. Timestamps are down below if you want to go to the recipe. Otherwise, here's me talking. A daiquiri, in order to be a daiquiri, has to have three things. It has to have rum, it has to have lime juice, and it has to have sugar. If you're going to make a flavored daiquiri, you have to change the flavor of one of those three things. Either use a flavored rum, a flavored sugar, or add an additional juice. In this case, I will be using my homemade apricot syrup. The recipe for this is on the channel. Feel free to check the link down below or at the end of the video. A note on the rum. This is a daiquiri, so you're going to want to use a white rum. I'm going to be using Trader Joe's Rum of the Gods. It works perfectly fine in here. If you want a better daiquiri, feel free to use a better white rum. And if you find one that you think is brilliant in this drink, feel free to let me know what that is. To make this drink, we're going to start with the rum. Two ounces of your white rum, two ounces of 60 milliliters. One ounce of your apricot syrup and one ounce is 30 milliliters and pardon the mason jar. Um, I make a lot of this because I love this syrup when apricots are available. And half an ounce of your lime juice. Half an ounce is 15 milliliters. Add your ice and give it a shake. Strain that into your Anderson Ancestral Coupe or any coupe of your choice. and garnish it with a lime wheel. And there you have it, apricot daiquiri. Drink the good spirits. There are ways to support the channel if you really enjoy what I'm doing here. Check the links down below for social media, etc. Follow me on any of those social media, and if you want a t-shirt, contact me through those social media and we'll make sure you get one. Cheers.